Hello and welcome to another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Joanne Laflamme. And I'm Chris Costa. So Chris, what would you like to talk about today? Well, I thought we could talk about entering shipping information once an order gets created or sure. as, as the order is getting created. Sure, that's a good point. We have a couple of things that I'd like to show you in that area. And mm -hmm. Typically when an order is created by your CSR, whoever enters it, they have some of the they have the basic information for shipping, the shipping address and, and mm -hmm. so forth. So that's a good time to enter it. Yes, yeah, so sure. take a look. Okay. So I'm gonna go into estimating order entry. And to create an order, I'll just take an existing order in my system and copy it, which your CSR may do, or they may create an order um, from scratch. If they copy it, they can go in and make whatever changes they want. Say I wanna order two thousand this time on this order. I'm gonna save the order. And now my order's created and I'm, um, I've got everything for the order created and I want to enter the shipping information. We do have a new button here, shipping right on the order uh, header screen that you can go to from here. Or you can save the order and get to it like you always could before through the job planning screen. So I'm going to click on the shipping button here. This will open the shipping module and bring in the order information right into the shipping module. And then from here I can add a shipment. I can click on add and I'll have three options. If you haven't copied the job and actually created it from scratch, you'll only have the first two options. Now what those options are, you have a single shipment, which means mm -hmm. just to create a single shipment with a single shipping ad address. Mm -hmm. You can create multiple shipments and this would be used if, say you're ordering, in our example we have 2,000. Maybe we want to ship 500 to four different locations. Right. So you'd use it if you're going to ship the same quantity to mm -hmm. multiple locations, and then it will let you pick from a list of ship to addresses and create mm -hmm. the shipments all in one, at one time. Okay. And then you can look at the third option, which I'll click on for a minute. And if you click on Proceed from here, it would bring in the shipment that uh, was attached to the previous order. So that's another quick way of creating a shipment. I'm going to delete that and let's start from scratch again and let's click on add and let's do it as a single shipment. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to click proceed. Now at this point, this is when your CSR could enter the shipping information that um, she received from the customer who ordered it. Okay. okay. Now, would they have to re, you know, hand enter that information in every time? Um, if it was a brand new address that was never shipped to before, they would, but mm -hmm. um, if it's the address that's on the order, there's a button called you sold to that they can use. If it's an address that's part of their ship to addresses, they can use that. Mm -hmm. They also have access to customer and supplier tables as well. So let's okay. look at that. Mm -hmm. So those buttons are on the right hand side here. If they click on ship to, they'll have all the ship to addresses that are tied to this customer and can select from one of those. They can go to the customer table, the supplier table, and, and select an address from there. You can also use the sold to address by simply clicking on that and it will bring the sold to address in. So what if my CSR though, they hand enter the information and it's going to be an address going forward? Is there a way for them to save it at that point into the ship to database? Absolutely, there's an add to database button and mm -hmm. that will just save it as a ship to address, a new ship to address for that customer. Okay, Okay. because okay. that will happen time to time. Yep. Yes, yep. Okay. okay, and then from here, a couple points I wanna make out is really important to, and a good idea to select the ship the scheduled ship to date. This may not be the actual date. You don't know that yet necessarily, but the CSR should know when it's scheduled to be shipped. So say this was scheduled to be shipped um, on Friday the 22nd, and then the scheduled ship quantity they could put in here. Your you know, your oh, actually this was 2,000. So we scheduled to ship 2,000 of these business cards. I mean, maybe we'll ship more if there are overs, but that's what's scheduled to ship. Then you could save the information here, close out of shipping, and you'll notice that shipping will be in red here, indicating that the shipping information has been entered. Now when they click on the job ticket and print the job ticket, you'll see that that scheduled ship to date and the scheduled quantity will show up on the job ticket. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, Makes sense. A couple of things we should take a look at. Let's go back into shipping for a minute. Mm -hmm. I'm going to close out of here, go back into shipping. Now we created the shipment here. You can, if you want to have the CSRs, also create the packages. Now the packages at this point 
um, that's the real detail information that your shipper will know. Mm -hmm. um, but they can, can just enter the package and put in and have the system put in the basic information of what's right. being shipped. And mm -hmm. then the shipper can add to it. So that's up to you if you want to put that in. Yeah, I was going to say, what if I don't know the, the package, you know, the freight, the cost, and yep. that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah, and you certainly wouldn't know that at this point. So you don't have mm -hmm. to enter that information. Okay. But let's take a look. From here, you can click on Add. And now you will get a choice of whether you're shipping all components or you can select a particular component. This is a one component job, but if it were multiple components, they would be listed here. Um, and that's important, um, what you choose here. If it's a thing like, uh, if it's an item such as a book that might have mm -hmm. two or three components to it, you would pick all components because right. all components make up the one product. Mm -hmm. However, if it's multiple items, um, you may want to use select the individual components, particularly if you're going to invoice by component and particularly if you're going to, in your invoice, going to be calculating the extended price based on the quantity shipped. Right. Because that's going to be important to get those quantities individually for each of the items. They may be different. Yep. Um, and then for finished good items, you always want to ship by component for finished good items. Right. So that when it makes the deduction in, um, in shipping, it deducts the appropriate quantity. Okay. Okay. So your CSR may know that um, ahead of time and may mm -hmm. want to do the packages. Okay. Okay. So at this point, in, in my case where it's one component, I could choose either. And this is all that they would have to do. It'll automatically bring in the total quantity, the quantity per package, and set it up as one package. And at this point, they wouldn't know anymore. So they could just hit OK and leave it at that. Mm -hmm. And then at that point, your shipper, when he goes in, can go and put in the things like the freight cost and yep. whatnot. Okay. 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 Do you have any other questions? The, the only thing, I guess, last would be if my estimator or my CSR knows the information when they're putting the estimate in, do they have the same ability as when the order is getting put in? Absolutely. That's actually a fairly new feature. Mm -hmm. We saw the shipping button on the order header screen. Right. That button is, is there as well on the estimate header screen in the same place. Okay. So, so if they know it, it all the way back then, they can still enter it at that point. Right. And then when it's converted to an order, that information carries over. Sure. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Good. Any other questions? No, I think that's good. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Joanne LaFlan. I'm Chris Costa. Please look forward for more to come.